YouTube, Playmatter here, just doing a fun little video for newer players to the competitive scene. Today I'm talking about making friends in Yu-Gi-Oh! Tip number one, go to the players that you see each week who tend to make either the top four or top eight at locals every week. Ask them if they can take a look through your deck and say what changes they would make to your deck. No matter how many cards they tell you to take out or how much you like the cards that they tell you to take out, at least give their card choices a go. Often these players do know what they're talking about and will try and genuinely help. Now obviously there'll be people at your locals that you like more for their personality and that you would genuinely be friends with or are friends with, but you can kind of work your way into having a competitive friendship with the more competitive players in the store. Getting good at Yu-Gi-Oh! is all about teaming up. Once you start topping or winning local tournaments using tips your friends have given you, you'll start earning their respect as well. Tip number two. In fact, a lot of making friends in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is about respect. My next tip is to side deck cards specifically for the good players at your local store. This will flatter them because it means you acknowledge them as one of the best players in the store, and also it makes you more of a threat to them, giving them more of a challenge when they play you. When these better players start to think that you might threaten them at all, this is when you might be able to get them to playtest with you. Tip number three. When in playtesting or in tournament play, don't be a really bad winner and rub it in, and don't be a really bad loser. When two players enjoy a game against each other, and when two players have enjoyed their games together and accepted their defeat either way, that's when those players become happiest to compete against each other more in the future. Tip number four. Ask some good players or good friends if they can watch you play some games of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ask if they can look if you have made any misplays and give you reasons as to why they were misplays. It's important to do whether you have won or lost the game, because whether you win or not, you can win and misplay at the same time. In those games you win where you have misplayed, and your friends give you good reasons as to why those plays were misplays, that can help you if you are in a similar situation in the future where you might not win if you did the misplay instead of the correct play. And it's good to share all of these notes over a lunch break. Tip number five. Now I know this looks nothing like a pizza, but it's always good to go for food with your friends who have watched your games so that you can discuss whether you've made misplays, whether you could have done anything differently, and it's a really fun and good way to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh! My final tip for now is that if you are a good player or a very competitive player at your locals, it's in your best interest to become friends with these players. If you want to travel from locals to locals to find the weakest one that you can win every week, fine. But if you want to improve as a player as well and go on YCS trips with other good players, you can and need to help players improve and get up to your level so that you can both research and play test and travel and, and improve to a much higher competitive level. If you are single-handedly responsible for creating a strong meta at your local event, then I think you've done something brilliant. Before I go, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Mad for Miniatures and Bermondsey Games, because I wouldn't be the player that I am today without them, and a big shout out to Mike and your family after your recent loss. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and for the newer players wanting to get into the competitive Yu-Gi-Oh scene, I really hope this helps. Play Matter, signing out.